Hey Divas and Gents, I'm coming to you with my Sunday tutorial, but it's a couple days late. <laughs> Sorry ladies, my birthday fell on Sunday, so yeah, this girl had to take a break. So I did get everything started last night so that I could get this ball rolling for today. Literally, I ran in from work, there was still daylight, so I'm like, let's do this. Okay, so we will be doing filigree earrings okay using metal filigree pieces totally inspired by pinterest N nothing of this is my own <laughs> the layout of how i created these yes but the idea nope total pinterest these will be the tools that we will be using flush cutters round and flat with the little ridges okay so let's go ahead and show you of course you know i gotta create and show you before we dive in so here are the earrings, and these are also using like the frosted flower bead caps. Now, these you, I have a bunch, but I purchased these from Etsy stores, Amazon, eBay, Zibit. You can find anybody to sell these. And these I purchased a long time ago from Joann's. So you can find these in many, many places, okay? So we will be using those in all of these earrings in just different styles. So you see, I busted out all my filigree pieces, and these right here I've had since I designed for Butterbee scraps. So these are what I'm using. You can easily go check out Monique at her store. I will put her link below. I do not know what she has in there. Like I said, I designed for her, it was like over a year ago, so I don't know what she carries in her store any longer, but this is where all my metal pieces came from, okay? So, you see how I put those together? Then I added the bead and then I some dangles from there, and then I used lever backs so beautiful right i love it and then here's another style using purple and then that's using everything is in bronze so you see you can use different kind of bead caps see that's a long bead cap but i found some of those acrylic flowers and then i hung dangles and I used some more bead caps. So super duper pretty, okay? So those are the two that I created and then we are gonna create three pairs together. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with some blue ones, okay? So this is before I lock everything in, I want you to see layer by layer how I how I um, put them together. I had to do this separately or put these together because I don't want to try to guess and take so much time creating it. So I used an eye pin, a long one, okay? And then I put a glass bead and then that's I didn't want to forget how I have it stacked. And then you can see I have a very thin bronze bead cap right there. Okay, then I'm gonna put on this resin or acrylic flower bead cap so that it looks like that and you can barely even see that this is even there. Okay, then we're gonna add another bead cap okay then we're going to add a rondelle a bronze one and then we are going to add the last glass bead up top okay now we're going to go ahead and cut the wire at about a finger's span. We're going to take our needle nose. We are going to take it, you see this is the beginning, we're going to take it in about a third of the way to where it's flush and you don't see this, the thing's not prickly, prickling out. 
and we're gonna this hand is does all the movement this does no movement your left no your right yes and that's if you're right-handed like myself so I'm turning it with this hand release keep it still in the hoop close down a little bit and then close it just a little bit more so that it's all together like that and see how it's lopsided so you got to put this back in but we're this time we're not going to take it all the way to the third end that's only to turn it now to turn it back towards you you do it at the very tip okay because these nozzles are thinner up top if you go up here and you do it up here it makes it too big so you want to put these all the way to the very end and then turn towards yourself okay and see it turns out perfect every time all right then actually while I'm here let me just go ahead and open this up and we are just going to put on the lever back now okay and we're going to close it so this is what I chose to use you can use the fish hooks on these as well you don't have to use these ones I just choose to use these ones they're I just prefer to wear those now we are going to create three dangles and this is how I did so let's do the first one And I'm only putting my fingers in front of that because I don't want it to shoot me in my eyeball. So you see, I'm gonna take it a third of the way in, turn only this hand open, and then turn a little bit more, take it like this, and then push it towards you, then go all the way to the end. And then this hand right here turns this way. Okay, so this got a little bent. But do you see? Okay. So let's go ahead and close it. Now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to close it fingers length. Take it in about a third of the way. Your right hand does all the movement. Open it. Bring it towards you. Pull it to the tip and then turn it towards yourself okay and then straighten this out because it bent and then we're going to close it to make it snug okay now we're going to do it again we're going to cut this right here we're going to get this take it in a third of the way oops Turn it all the way in, open it towards the end, and then pull it towards me. And there you go. Now flatten this out. And then go ahead and close it off. All right. So then right here we had the eye pen. Okay. So this eye pen, we're going to open it up. And we're going to stick the dangles right on there. And this part right here, you could totally use a jump ring. I didn't like how it looked with the jump ring. That is the reason why I opted to not do it. Cause I put it on there and I'm like, yeah, I don't love it. So I took it off. I just felt it made it too long. Okay. Now I gotta, it's so hard to do this with the camera right there. Cause I have to see all the way, look all the way around instead of inside the camera and close it off. Okay. So you see how that looks? There's three of them on there directly on the eye pen and they dangle just fine like that. See, it's perfect like this. If you add the jump ring, it makes it go farther. And I just thought it didn't look balanced to me. So it's all like, eh. So this one will be the same thing. Of course, the glass, the bead cap, the flower resin bead cap, the filigree bead cap, rondelle, and the glass bead that's smaller. Remember, I always start bigger to smaller. 
that's how I do it. That's just my little OCD. <laughs> and, um, and that's what totally just works for me. It is up to you whatever you find that you like that works best for you. Okay? So never feel that what I'm telling you is my way is the right way because that is not it. Okay, so this one is now closed. Actually, let me open it because I'm going to put the lever back on there right now. And put that on. And now we're going to start on the little dangles. I'm going to go a little bit faster because I can't um, take too much time talking about how I do these every single time more, or else I'm never going to get to the other earrings. And I wanted to show you three different styles so that you could see if in case you have some of these filigrees, what else that um, you can do. Okay. Go. Cut this one. See how awesome you guys are that I hurried homes just so that I could do this video while there was still daylight because I felt bad. And I was like, oh man, I didn't do my Sunday tutorial. So I made sure to stay up last night, put everything together that I wanted to do today. And then and mind you, I left work a half hour late too because I got into work late. So I was like, oh man, now I'm really not going to get home on time. So, um, but thank goodness I did. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and close this off. Do this. this. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and open up the bottom. We're going to put on the dangles. One. Oops. Two. And three. Oh, geez, Louise. Keeps turning. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to close it off. And then there's that one. So here is one set. And tell me these are not fabs. Oh my gosh. I pinned so many that were like this. I was like, oh, I'm doing those. I'm doing them. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do these blue ones using the longer filigree bead caps. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Here is the eye pin. Here is the glass bead on camera. And then another bead cap on top. Then we're going to add the acrylic flower. Now we're going to add this long one right here. Okay, so that it looks like this. Now we're going to cut off a little bit at the top because it's a tad bit long. And we're going to close this one off. Third of the way in. Take it to the very end. Pull it back. Sometimes you got to do it a few times to make sure it's just the way it needs to be. Okay. Oopsie. Perfect. And remember, also too, these open, these ones right here at the end. So let's say you do everything and you're like, oh man, I forgot to um, put it on. Well, actually, does this one? They all open normally. This doesn't look like it has an opening. What? Oh, it does. Okay. I was going to say, no way. They all open. So see, let's see if we can get this. camera come on so you'll see it's opened right there and they always tend to open from the top but you can check some I could be lying some of them might be different so far all the ones I've ever used always opened at the top 
Okay, and there, and now it's closed. All right, so these are the dangles I'm gonna do. Whoopsie. Okay. These are just all beads from my stash. And like I've mentioned many, many times, a lot of my beads come from LA. And, um, but then I also too, if I see some good finds at Hobby Lobby or Michael's, I absolutely get them there too. It's just that when I go to LA, I get them for wholesale so that I can buy a lot at a wholesale price. And that is a bang for my buck since I use so many, um, so many beads. Cause if I was just to live just off of doing Michael's or Hobby Lobby, and I wouldn't be able to, you know, I do sell my stuff and, um, it wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't be able to do it. How's that? Cause when you buy a strand, let's say you get 10 beads on that strand and you're like, okay, well, if you're just doing it for yourself or for a gift, perfect. But like for me to do tutorials, for me to do these as gifts, and I have a bunch, a bunch of, um, jewelry that's made. Um, for those reasons alone, perfect for gifting. I love having them on stash and there's every so often I will, um, not have, I'll wear an outfit and I'm like, you know what? I don't have anything that matches it. So guess what Anna does? <laughs> That's right. I go to, oops, sorry, ladies. I go to, um, my little jewelry bin and I get to shopping. <laughs> So I absolutely love having, um, geez, where is it at? Oh, there we go. Having this stuff already made in so many different colors. You notice I just do a bunch of different colors and, um, so this is how this one looks. Oops, I put the blue one in the middle. These I have, these I purchased on Etsy a long, long time ago. So if you ask, I cannot tell you because I don't know. A lot of the stuff I have in my stash for, for moons. And, um, okay. So I got to move quickly actually because I only have seven minutes and I really want to get to, um, to the last pair of earrings. So see, even when I talk and I try to show you, um, Let's put the lever back on. I do too much talking and I'm not focusing and it's like, come on, but I don't want to leave you guys in awkward silence. So why not jibber jabber? Why not? All right. So we're going to go ahead. Oops. Cut this. And then we're going to stick this a third of the way in. Put it away. Open up. Pull to the tip. And then push towards yourself. Now we're going to close it off. And then we're going to get to the next one. All right. Now we're going to close it. Tip. Pull it towards you. Now we're going to close this off. Straighten this out a little bit because I bent it. Now to the next one. Cut. See, once you do so many of these, you know, I forgot who I was talking to, but one of you ladies reached out to me and, and that's the reason why I was going a little bit slower on saying how I'm doing these because she had asked for me because she was like getting it, but then, um, it wasn't turning out exactly the way mine had come out. So she wanted me to walk through it a little more slowly, um, so that she could better understand because she said she was close to getting it and I was really excited for her um, because, you know, um, I think she, I believe she's a beginner on this. So there's nothing that makes me more excited to know that when I get somebody who's just starting out in the jewelry making and I'm able to help them. Oh, it's such an awesome feeling. So, um, all right. Uh, this goes here. All right. So next one. It's going to be another long eye pin. This time you see this bead right here. This is the one that I use to make angels out of. 
Okay, these have are at Michael's and at Hobby Lobby. Then we are going to add this really pretty flower. Then we're going to add another bead cap. Okay. And then we're going to add the rondelle and a bead and then another um, bead cap. So see, that's how it looks looking down and then to the side. So see how perfect that looks? Oh, I love it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and, oops, a little too low. Cut it. There we go. There we go, see? Man, you guys are going to be like pro status by the time um, I get done doing all this. Because I'm going to, you know, I was sitting there and I was thinking, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm eventually going to run out of ideas, <laughs> you know, to show you guys. And I actually, I honestly, I get a kick out of doing this for you guys. So it makes me really happy doing this. And plus it forces me to use all my stuff. So it's not just sitting around, you know, so that's pretty cool. That's a total added bonus. Okay, so I'm just doing these right here and I'm trying to move a little quicker because I'm running down to like minutes. And I wanted to show you what it looks like. Already done. Okay. So, another one. And after a while, when you cut the wires, you're gonna get your own little you know system to how you how far you should actually cut them there's really no easy way to teach you that because it's all a process of you know you getting used to guesstimating on how to um let's do it this way on how knowing when to cut it it takes a while so that's why i tell you guys it's kind of like a fingers width but sometimes you know i'll have to go back and i'll have to cut it again because you know what it's too long i still needed to cut it a little bit more okay so this is how the one earring is and I used a pearl with a little flat bead cap and then a domed bead cap so see how pretty that is and it's all with pink milk glass so once again you see these are all the layers I'm going to go ahead and cut it And then a third of the way in. Always remember a third of the way in. The nozzles are always smaller at the very end. So that's why you want to pull it back out. Actually, let me put the lever back on real quick. And when you open these, you always open them away from you and not out. So I will show you on the next one when I open it up. Okay, let's go ahead and cut it. See, I only have like a minute and 40 seconds. I don't even think I can do it that quick. I hope this isn't like super crazy blurry. But for instance, when you open this up, and let's say you have to open up the eye pin you just created, you're gonna pull it, wait, is this the right side? No. You're gonna put this and you're gonna Put it away from you don't get it and do it this way don't ever do it that way because then you just ruined your whole circle and you don't want to do that because then you got to start all over with another pen because now there's no way to really fix that without the wire getting all wonky okay so let's go ahead and cut the other bead cap or oops that's too much other eye pen Actually, these are not eye pins. I'm making it an eye pin at the end, but it's originally a head pin. Okay, and then we're gonna cut the other one. And then now, we're, oh my gosh, I got 34 seconds, ladies. So I really hope that this, oops, that helped you out and um, the jewelry making really quick. I'm gonna go through this. I didn't get to finish that last one, but I really wanted you to see how these came out. So if you have any filigree piece like this that you can easily make some really elegant, beautiful earrings 
and it costs you nothing. Love you ladies. Bye.